Hello everyone, Alyssa here, welcome. We're kind of a hot mess right now, kind of the story of our lives lately. Lander has a fever, again. <laughs> Toddler life. The what? one the one good thing about quarantine was that no one got sick because we didn't meet any germs. <laughs> but praise the Lord, we're out and about a lot more these days and we are building our immune systems. But that's not what this video is about today. I was just, working around my kitchen. It's a total disaster. But um, I was just using a few items that I thought I used to use different things. And I have over time switched to a lot of, a lot of reusable items. And I use a lot less um, disposable items. And we create a lot do, less do, waste. Do, 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 do. Exactly. So I thought that I would share with you just a few of the items around my kitchen that I have switched from using disposable to reusable items. It really doesn't affect much of our lives. Like it really didn't have much of an effect on our lives. Like it isn't like a whole lot more work to maintain these items. And so because they're just so easy and if you're like wanting to go like waste free or get rid of like wasteful products in your, in your house and create less waste but you just don't know where to start, I thought I would just share with you a few things that I've replaced and how things, how I do things differently. And I will say that over time, as you create less waste and you're just more mindful in the decisions you make and the things you bring into your home, the things you purchase, the things you can replace um, with reusable items, it just becomes more of a habit. And then one day you'll look back and, sorry if you can hear all of that. I don't know what anyone's doing, but it sounds like a stampede upstairs. So it becomes more of a habit over time and one day you'll look back and you'll go, oh wow, I really made a lot of changes. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. And you can always go further. You can always do better. You can always find, you know, different things that you could, um, I don't know, change or whatever. And it's good to have goals, but make sure you look back and realize, hey, I've actually come a long way. We're doing better than we used to. So I'm gonna show you a few things. So one really simple one is coffee. I love coffee, I drink a ton of coffee. We go through a whole lot of coffee. How many times can I say coffee, coffee, coffee? So um, I don't buy like filters anymore. I got a reusable filter. It's really no problem. I just take it out, I rinse it, I put it back uh, like once or twice a week. I'll throw it in the dishwasher and it lasts a long time. So a uh, reusable coffee filter is great. So another thing is straws. <laughs> I love these stainless steel straws. And now my husband doesn't like the stainless steel straws, but he doesn't really require straws. So I'm not really worried about it. Even if you buy like hard plastic straws or some other material and you're reusing them, you're gonna create less waste than buying packs of straws and using them all the time, which I used to do but I replaced it with a stainless steel straw, came with a little brush to clean it, and I love them, they work great. And another thing that's kind of weird, it's my glasses. <laughs> the glasses I like to drink out of, wait for it. It's a Smucker's peanut butter jar. This is not sponsored, but they should sponsor me because I am their number one fan. Not only is it my favorite peanut butter, Smucker's natural, but it's also a great quality jar. I keep the jars, I reuse the jars, I use them for Tupperware, I drink out of them. I made Christmas gifts this year, I made like a homemade body scrub and I put them in those jars. And so I love them. Um, you should switch to Smucker's, I just hit myself in the face with peanut butter jar. I love Smucker's peanut butter. You should, you should try it, it's delicious. It's like the best peanut butter I've ever tasted in my whole life and I've tried a lot of peanut butters. But yeah, the jars are great. I love getting them and reusing them and not throwing away plastic. So another thing that will probably be like a no-brainer, but still I know a lot of people are buying disposable plates and cups, and I get it. It's for the convenience, it's chaotic, you have kids, you know, you don't wanna do dishes at the end of the night, that's not how you wanna spend your time. I totally get it, no judgment here. But instead of buying paper plates, I have pared down my dishes so that it's more manageable. So we just have a few dishes in here. And this isn't all of our dishes. There are a few that are dirty, but that's 
pretty much it. And so if somebody needs to use a bowl, they might have to wash the bowl before they eat out of it. There just aren't a lot of bowls in our cabinet. And so I'm okay with that. Um, I would rather the dishes not pile up, one, because I'm not using paper plates and disposable um, like plates and cups and stuff. And so it's a good way for me to do it that I kind of get the convenience of not spending my entire evening doing dishes anymore and yet I'm not one spending money on paper products and disposable things that are just going to go in the waste and two I'm not putting all of that into the planet. <laughs> so this is our home. We want to take care of it, right? It saves the earth, saves money, win-win. So the next thing that I want to share with you that I no longer buy and we use reusable is I do not buy paper towels. I do not buy napkins. We just keep this drawer right here next to the sink. Excuse my dirty dishes. <laughs> but I just keep this drawer right here um, full of washcloths and napkins and things. Um, right now all that's in here is Norwex, but I do have just like some other dish towels and dishcloths and washcloths that I keep in here. It's not cute, it's not pretty, it's whatever we have, <laughs> that that's what we use, and then I just throw them in the wash. It might sound like overwhelming to you to have more laundry to do, but watch my laundry system and you might not be so overwhelmed. I will link that in the description box below. Laundry is not really a stressor for me anymore because I have a system in place that helps me to manage my laundry and it not be stressful for me, and so adding in a load of um, washcloths, it just really doesn't bother me. And I never fold them because as soon as Aowen comes in here and needs a napkin or something, they're all unfolded anyway. So I just don't even bother wasting my time folding them. Hey baby. Okay, so we had a moment of quiet, so I was gonna show you this and now he wants it. So I'm going to let him hold it. Did you wanna hold that? Okay. But it is a reusable Ziploc bag and well, you know, a reusable Mm -hmm. Zip shut bag. I guess Ziploc is a brand, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. And so I don't buy Ziploc bags anymore. I don't buy sandwich bags. I have this in like this size. I also have a gallon size and I use them a lot. I actually should buy some more. So anyways, I use these for, you know, snack bags. We'll grab a snack on the go. Uh, whatever you would use a sandwich bag for or freezer bag. I also use these for like gallon freezer bags. The gallon size, of course, not this size. Um, although I do have some mozzarella sticks in one of these in the freezer right now. But that's just a few of the items in our kitchen that we use that are reusable, that we have replaced, um, that you know we used to use disposable items and now we use reusable items. You just find a balance, figure out how to maintain your reusable products in a way that fits your lifestyle. It doesn't have to add work to your schedule. It doesn't have to add a lot um, of work and really just takes you know seconds to wash something opposed to throwing it in the trash can. I will say, I will say that paring down our dishes was a big thing and saving us time and keeping us less overwhelmed. So I definitely recommend that you declutter and pare down everything that you have and then it's a lot easier to maintain the things that you do have. I am maybe am becoming a minimalist. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> I think I'm on the road to it because it's just giving me more freedom in life and I love it. So those are some reusable products in our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you want more videos like this. As always, remember to live honestly and I will see you soon.